Hi, I'm Rob Jolliffe, and this is uh, my virtual demo on Microsoft Dynamics NAV for manufacturing. Today we're going to be looking at importing bills of material. So this demo is very specific to engineer to order companies. If your company is a production manufacturing, meaning that you produce the same part over and over again, this isn't going to be as relevant. But if you are a manufacturing company that either does R&D projects where your engineers are designing machines, equipment, uh, production processes and you need to record those costs or you are engineered to order, you're manufacturing equipment for customers, fixture tables, test tables, um, assembly stations, dies, conveyors, whatever it happens to be that you're making, this is for you. So let's take a look at how this works. So here we are in Microsoft Dynamics NAV and we're looking at a project manager screen. So project managers are the typical user of the system for this purpose. Um, they can be engineers within your organization who are responsible for uh, a job from beginning to end. Um, they can sometimes be uh, more formal project managers, but in this case, I'm gonna show you how a uh, bill of material gets loaded. So I've started some jobs. Um, I've done two of them for a company called Condoxy. Uh, the first one is a text, uh, test fixture um, as you can see, and the second one is a table, a fixture table for uh, A400, which is a product they make. So let's take a look at Condoxy, and we'll go in, and I'm going to first bring up a job. So this is a existing job where I've put some time and materials against the job. As you can see, I've, I've broken the job down into different kinds of cost categories. So along the side here, I have engineering labor, shop labor, materials, and some of these are bills of material, which is what we're going to look at in a moment. Um, and also I have a delivery and installation section because um, this customer would manufacture this fixture table and deliver and install it, including a mechanical contractor and installation technicians of their own that they would send. So this, this would be part of the um, activation of the equipment. So let's go into this fabricated bomb because there's nothing in it. You can see that there's a total amount of schedule or estimated costs that have accumulated in these three, the mechanical, the electrical, and the pneumatic bomb. I'm going to drill down into the fabricated bomb. So what I want to do is I want to import a build materials into here. So I'm going to click this bomb import icon, and I'm going to select a workbook. Our bomb import is done through Microsoft Excel workbooks. This makes it more flexible. It will work with virtually any CAD system. And the, although there are a number of fields that are required, the sequence of those fields is completely customizable. So you don't have to always um, do every single worksheet in exactly the same format that every other customer has. If your CAD system exports in one format and another one from another customer exports in a different format, we account for that. So I'm going to click on OK, and I'm going to import the components worksheet from the BOM.XLS. And there we go. We have an imported BOM. We've done bills of material up to two, 300. They take just a few seconds to import. And another great thing about using the Excel sheet is that if there are changes to the bill of material in the um, CAD system and the engineer can export the changes into a new Excel sheet, they can import those changes very easily into the system. So that's the bill of material import. And next we'll look at purchasing and the purchasing process. So, on to the purchasing process in an engineered order environment. 